Welcome back, part two of the patio extension. Woo, we got some work still to do. Plans have changed even again from the last time. We're gonna upgrade it even just that much more. Today we're gonna be bringing in the dirt that we got delivered, which was two yards, not that much, won't take that long. And then we have three yards of bull rock that were delivered with the wear barrel, one by one, back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. We gotta get the fire pit figured out. I think I'm gonna pour a concrete form for it, so it'll be a concrete fire pit. Yeah. I have to go to Home Depot once again. If you're not going to Home Depot at least three to ten times, your project isn't that cool. It is another beautiful day here in Texas. Let's get this project started. to break up the nice music and the flow but little update we got most of the rock poured here at least in the middle section I still have to form out the fire pit I went ahead and did the other flower bed and saved you the pleasure of me pounding more landscape timbers together this is gonna be one area for the cornhole this is gonna be another area for the cornhole this is what I've decided to do with concrete instead of pavers is I had this is a 2x4 section 2x4 section 2x4 section 
They do have a regulation of 27 feet to the beginning of the board, 33 feet to the beginning of the holes, but I wanted to be able to move them back and forth just a little bit to be able to modify for who's playing the game. That way if it's if you want to move it in a little bit, you can. If you want to move them out a little bit, you can as well. So I solved it with putting another 2x4 section in the back. I think they're going to take about five bags, well, four to five bags a piece. So four, eight, twelve ish. And then same thing on that side. I got to form the fire pit out. I got to dig for the six by six posts here on the four corners. And they're going to be a single swing here, a double swing here, and a single swing here. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment if you like so I can post more videos here in the future. It's free, you don't have to pay anything to do it, just hit that button. All right, let's get back to that epic music. a new measuring device.
changed my mind on the fire pit here. I'm just going to pour a slab. And the reason I'm going to do that is because if I want to make it a wood burning or propane, I can also mix them up if I want to. If I decided to put a fireplace here built out of concrete, then that would pretty much limit to me to just wood. I could probably find an insert for it for propane, but in this case, it's easier. I can switch it up whenever I want to. I wanted to give you an update on the shade cell project. This is the shade cell. If you haven't seen that video, go click on that video and watch that video. I had to support it because this beam over here was flexing in and was starting to warp and bend in. And it was bending in about an inch and a half or so already. So I just put a two by six beam up here and attached it to the house, went up through the, the eave here, attached it to the rafters, made it look pretty and all that kind of good stuff. And basically all this is is two by sixes nailed and screwed together. I'm gonna to have to repeat the process on this side, coming across above the air conditioner here and put another post there and another 2x6 beam that comes across. Well, that's it for part two, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.